بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Islam holds life, human life especially, as something very sacred. And as Muslims, we believe in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet as Allah mentions in the Quran, that a person who kills an innocent life, it is as if he has killed all of mankind. So this shows us the value Islam has placed upon people's lives and people's wealth, property, and well-being. And that killing is a major sin and a major offense, as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned it as one of the seven deadly sins. And in another hadith narration, the Prophet ﷺ said, من قتل المعاهد لم يرح رائحة الجنة وإن ريحها توجد من مصيرة أربعين عاما. This is Wa'ab Muslim. In this hadith narration of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم, he said, whoever kills a muahid, and a muahid is the person who is under the protection of the Muslim authority, meaning a non-Muslim that is maybe coming to work in a Muslim land or they, they are under some sort of protection by the Muslim leader. They have a right to be in that country legally and they are doing uh, their business or doing whatever transactions or whatever agreements that they have with the government. And the Prophet ﷺ said, so whoever kills one of these people then they will not even smell the smell of paradise. Even if it smell, or although it smell, you would be able to smell it from the distance of 40 years. Meaning being very far, this shows us that it's a very far distance, the smell of paradise, that it is something... Uh, great, but the person who does this, this evil act, which is a major sin, will not even smell the smell of paradise. So that's a stern warning in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, to avoid any and all forms of extreme ideologies that encourage the fanatic, fanatical behavior, killing uh, and destruction of people's uh, properties and lives and well-beings. So it shows us that Islam protects and honors agreements. It encourages honoring agreements and it protects the lives of humanity. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and guide those of us who have fell into extremist ideologies back to the truth. And may Allah forgive us and protect us from harm from within our communities and harm outside of our communities. And anything that I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And anything that I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan.